Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at the subreddit r slash pro revenge where people tell us their best stories and when they got revenge on someone or something they didn't like. If you're new around here please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video but for now let's sit back relax and enjoy some pro revenge stories. Bullies want to get grade from my work, not happening. So last year I attended a course that helps older students get into university. I was one of the youngest in my class at 23, with the average student being between the ages of 32 and 53, and oh my god, they were some of the most childlike adults I have ever met. I mean, I have been in classes full of 16 and 17 year olds before and they act more like respectable adults than the people in that access course. I had a ton of issues in that class. The class was so bad that my favourite lecturer actually admitted to me in private that these are some of the worst people she had ever had the displeasure of meeting and apologised to me for having to deal with them. My class were discriminatory, rude, fake and would bully anyone different from them. Their main focus being on either a guy in my class who had a personality disorder and a lack of social awareness or me because I wasn't from the same area as them and had a posh voice which makes me sound like I wasn't where I was from. And yes, I found out from a girl from my class that that was the reason they hated me and also thought there was favouritism with the lecturers because my absences didn't affect my grades. Ridiculous, I know. Just so you are aware, I'm one of those people who keeps to themselves and feels awkward in social situations. But today, my main focus is on a small group of them, who I was forced to work with on a group project. It was a nightmare, the group was made up of 3 guys and 1 woman. Dave, who was 40, Alex, who was 34, Steve at 30 and Liz, who was the oldest at 53 all fake names. The most any of that group did was pick the subject of the project which was drug use in teens in the UK and they only picked that topic because they were all talking about their experiences and laughing about how Steve was meeting his dealers later. None of them had any idea what they were doing and I wanted to pass so I spoke up and asked what everyone is going to do. They all pretty much ignored me and spoke amongst themselves, but when it came to the project being done, my god I hated them all. Alex and Steve would rarely attend to help with the group project, Liz would just sit there quietly eating a snack, but Dave, he was the absolute worst. Dave had a weird thing about me and treated me very strangely, but that is a story for another day. He would only ask if his name was on it. As I previously said, none of them, all four of them did nothing toward the project and I ended up doing the entire project myself, powerpoint presentation, organisation and more. When I tried getting the group to do anything, they always just laughed at me or point blank ignored what I was saying. I was so nervous about getting a bad grade that I eventually wrote a script for them all to learn for the presentation, which they didn't do. Adding insult to injury, while I was doing the project, they actually went around bragging about how they didn't have to do a thing, how I was desperate to be their friend, I wasn't, and how pathetic I was. I was done. It's one thing for me to do the project by myself, but another for my group to be saying things like this and still expecting credit so I decided to do things my way. When it was finished, Dave contacted me and would ask how I'm doing, knowing it was done. Before I could even respond, Dave messaged me again, asking me to email the finished project to him to check and add information I might not have, which he had no interest in doing before. I responded saying he should send me the information via an email I attached, and I can check myself as I spent a good month doing it all, plus I didn't want any of them to have a copy and see what I had planned. He demanded to have a copy and how I should respect my elders, 
which I said was unnecessary, which made Dave mad, but he did nothing. So what did you do, you may be wondering? Luckily, I kept a log of every group interaction I had, including a recording of every group meeting we had, which I always said to them I was recording, but knew they would just ignore me as always. On presentation day, my group all stood in front of the class and started presenting it by reading straight from my script, not noticing that none of their names were on the presentation except for mine. Halfway through, they all binned my script and started reading the board, which made them have to improvise what they were saying, because I purposely kept the presentation facts to a minimum, like just a tile saying driving with all the information all in the scripts, and any charts with little descriptions, again, all in the script. They looked ridiculous. I couldn't help but smirk as they were messing around when they realized what was going on. When they finally reached the end of the presentation, after an embarrassingly long time, they were all angry and looked like they wanted to hurt me. The last slide I added last minute? Credits. Information gathering by me. Animations by me. PowerPoint by me. Every single thing I did was listed. Am I done? No. The finale of everything I did was a given, as my lecturer was shocked watching the presentation. We were all taken outside of the classroom and told to explain what happened. My group lied through their teeth, saying they did more than me and how I shouldn't get graded. When it was my turn to talk, I got my phone out and played every recording I had, showed the lecturer the multiple messages of me trying to get them involved, and handed her a USB that had the only copies of the script, presentation, and the information gathered. Let's just say I got the grade, and now I'm about to start university. They didn't get the grade, and the bullying got worse. Worth it? Yes, of course. I fully respect you if whatever age you are and you want to go back to college just so you can get your university thing, but if you're 53 years old and you're doing that kind of stuff, then no respect. Want to go on vacation and not pay us for the work? Won't be home for a few days after informing us? Sure. My grandpa is on my do not ever mess with list. In any way. Short list. He taught Shotokan overseas in Korea, one of the highest ranked black belts outside of Japan, I have seen security footage of some of his bar fights, it's legit, was a personal bodyguard during the 70s for some of the governors in our state, and worked in construction for decades, one of two master carpenters in my state, which leads to this story. During summers, I would work with Gramp doing a lot of his manual monkey labor. Shingles up to the roof, mix concrete, sand floors, keep everything tidy, etc. He'd been screwed over the years, as many general and subcontractors are, and as the years went by, his contracts for work go more and more specific, i.e. payments on a certain schedule, new or unexpected cost, and how they're dealt with, etc. One particular job started out pretty normal. He's hired to build a new desk with a new patio slash driveway patio for this guy. Let's call him uh, Brain. New construction, newer house, easy job. Gramps had even done work for him in the past. No problems. Deck is to be partly covered. 10 by 50s on the front of the house, 4 foot up with concrete stairs. Brand new door. Brand new picture frame. 4 by 8. Driveway is to be stained. Freshly poured between the new deck and the garage, Grandpa built a few years ago. Guy was even going on vacation for a few weeks. We can get the job done in those three weeks if we bust it. Guy pays 50% of the estimated cost up front and was to pay the remaining 50% over the agreed time. Now, this first payment covered all the material for the original estimate and paid us basically minimum wage for the hours we'd put in. The next few installments would cover the subcontractor for pouring the driveway and the remaining hourly wages. Weekend one passed, no agreed payment. Hmm, guy's on vacation, maybe he forgot to set up auto pay. Whatever, send him pictures on AOL email, 
The original concrete stairs had been removed, new door was in place, deck was framed out, but we didn't hear from Mbrain. Weekend 2 passed. Ah, no pay yet, but work needs to be done. Concrete guys are here for the new slab and stairs. Let's get it done so we can move on to new jobs. Subcontractor is a longtime family friend and distant relative. Call him Timmy. Does us a favor and pours and stains on an IOU. Send more pictures on AOL. No response from Mbrain. Week 3. We finished our work two days early. Subcontractor has finished their work. It looks amazing, up there on a nice hill. But we haven't been paid for this work. Gramp finally gets the douchebag on the phone. Hey, douchebag, how's was vacation? Blah, 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 skip forward three to five minutes. Gramps is a talker and lived in the vacation state for a few years. Great, glad you had a great time while I was busted it here. Holy heck, it's been hot. What did you think of the work? Douchebag says, Oh, uh, it looks great. We'll be home later today after tomorrow. We're having a get together with XYZ. Well, glad you're going to enjoy it. Oh, hey, seems like your bank didn't pay us on the scheduled agreement. So? Uh, excuse me? So what? I'm not paying you the rest of the money. Work's done. Tough luck, you old loser. Hmm, I understand. Click. Well, OP, let's get to work. Oh, and get Timmy on the phone. The douchebag had that large garage Gramp had built years ago, and the guy let us use to store equipment while they were out. First, the brand new door was removed and placed in the garage. Then, each of the brand new decks was removed and placed into the garage. Sadly, the posts were 36 inch deep, but hey, a 4x4 truck pulled those out of the ground nice and good after a bit of shoveling. Those were also placed into the garage. Window was also removed from the frame and placed on top of this pile. Deconstruction is much faster than construction after all. Timmy was rather unhappy as well about not getting paid, but hey, we found out that the new stairs we poured moved well enough across the new driveway and patio and some bleach took care of the stain we put on the patio. Sadly, it had a few chips in it from all the ruckus, and someone made the time to take a diamond saw and cut all the way through the seams. Sadly, it'll now settle at an uneven rate, but all the material douchebag paid for, he got to keep. We even went into the garage in the evening and made sure his front door was locked, you know, for security. Even the few tools we needed for the job, which douchebag paid for, stayed in the garage. Fast forward two days, douchebag comes home and throws a tantrum. It had stormed, and his AC had been running non-stop with the increase of draft into the front of the house. Of course, he threatens Gramps with a lawsuit and the police, which just makes Gramps laugh. A close relative was the assistant chief of police in our small town unbeknownst to douchebag. We did everything we were contractually obligated and paid to do. All the equipment and the materials were in douchebag's possession. That is, after all, what he paid us for. Douchebag blustered a lot, but it did nothing. Fast forward a bit, no one in the local union will deal with the guy. Gramps and Timmy are both pretty well respected and do a lot of great work around town. Someone from out of town ends up fixing the issues and does an awful job of it. Darn. I'm sorry, but what kind of person goes on vacation so you're not at your house to uh, quote unquote defend it or whatever and then says, oh, I'm not paying you for that whilst these guys have access to your house and everything. That's just like the stupidest thing I've heard. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.